following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. First things first, folks. You know, my favorite hobby is playing poker, and I have to tell you what happened last night. Uh, every, the first or last Friday of the month, our casino down here, the casino, uh, Desert Diamond Casino, they have a special promotion, football, uh, Monday night football. Every time somebody scores, they add $100 to the pot for the next hand, which is a big deal. So anything, the one thing that I did want to hold on a second now, uh, something's beeping and I want to turn it off just a second here. Hold on just a minute. Anyway, uh, so there's nine players. Okay, everybody gets two cards. It's called Texas Hold'em. It's a limit game. So it's $4 and $8 bets. And when you flash $100, everybody plays. You've got nine people playing. And I have, I'm on the button. I've got, the, I'm the last person to act. And I have a four or five of clubs. And by the time it gets around to me, it's $16 to call. Well, I got $16 of my own money in there, plus $100 of everybody else on $100 pots. It's over $200. So with the four or five of clubs, it's not a great hand, but it's okay. But the flop comes, ace of clubs, deuce of clubs, nine of hearts. And let me tell you, one guy has three, he has a pair of aces, so he has three aces. Somebody's got uh, three deuces, and the guy has three nines. That is just absolutely unbelievable to think that. So by the time it gets around to me, uh, it's a maximum bet. I'm in for another $24, okay? <laughs> so the turn comes, and it happens. And the only card that I need is a three, and the three comes up, and it's the three of diamonds, okay? So now I have the wheel, which is the best hand. I can beat the aces. I can beat three of a kind. The only thing that hurts me is if the board pairs or a big club comes up, then I've lost. So the turn comes the last card and it's the three of clubs and that gives me a straight flush to the wheel an absolutely unbeatable hand it gives somebody believe it or not had caught two threes for four threes he was in second place aces full of threes was in third place and nines full of threes was in second <laughs> fourth place i won in that pot folks six hundred and eighty dollars in the pot that's the biggest pot we've ever had in that casino since they opened 30 some years ago they took a picture of it the chips were so high that uh, it took about 20 minutes to stack them in racks so that i could get it and uh i gave the dealer 100 bucks and i gave the service girls uh, 50 dollars each and i took uh, 460 dollars home and uh, went to the nearest bar and drank most of it up which is not true but anyway that was the excitement of my hand and uh, it was reason why i like to play but it was the best hand i've had in oh dear five six years but uh i mean it wasn't a lot of money but it was very very exciting it's about odds you know because i had i had a good chance and it turned out to be okay all right let's take a look here i'm showing you the s p 500 boys and girls if you like a b c d and we do you can see the a a b a c and a d has been hit at 4217 in the cash the low today in the cash has been 42 uh, where is it at? 40. No, the low today has been uh, 40, uh, 42, 4263. So it went below it by about 50 cents. It's now trading at 427. The number we were looking for in the S&P was 4316. I think we've been to 4320. I haven't checked recently, but that's what I think has happened. I, I, do, I don't know the answer to that, but I'm thinking if that's the way it might happen. But let's look at this because we've been watching for this for some some deal of t some period of time now one of the things we're looking we just looked at price now let's just look at time from the highs down to the low you're going to take your high price here and you're going to go over to your low price here and you see it was 16 days down you see that right there move that right there i think it's 16 days uh, yeah i think it's 16 yeah 17 days down so it was 17 days down in the a b leg so all we're going to do now is we're going to take that same little tool and we're going to move it over to the high right here okay and it's coming in and look where the 17th day is today boys and girls that's a squaring of price and time taught by wd gan 
uh, for a lot of money way back in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, okay? So we should start to get a rally here. The problem is, is that if we close below these numbers today, in this right here, below 43.16 in the S&P, and below this number right here in the cash, <laughs> You don't want to know what's going to happen because it's going to be nasty. And I will tell you, a minimum, the minimum number will be down at least another 80 points and in the cash down here at 416, okay? And that's not a good sign, folks. That's that if it does. I do not believe that's going to happen because it's set up so beautifully that it's just exactly, you know, what you like to see. Now, let's just take a quick look and we'll get up to the old stop and pee here for a minute and see if we can get the number here. Uh, in the, I haven't seen it for a long time. Where is it? Uh, golly gee, what happened to my S&P? Uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. We've got it right here. All right, let's get up here. The low has been, in fact, it, oh, the low has only been a 4320, 43.22. A 43.2175 was the low. Okay, there it is right there. Now, you'll remember one of the things that I always talk about is when you have a strong trending market, is to watch for that. Yes, Johnny, I see your placard is up there. We're going to go through it one more time for our folks. Here's where we were. You can see first rally back right here, exactly at the 382. Okay, that's one. And all we're going to do is erase that and go to the next rally. Comes right up to 43 right there. There's a perfect 382 right here. A perfect 382 right here. That tells us, right, that this market is still going down. So we not, we've got a lower low. Okay, so what we have to do is we've got to start from scratch. So we'll just take this out because this is going to tell you whether the trend has changed or not. My, my opinion, of course, this is all based on hypothetical stuff that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. But there is a number that you want to watch, and this is the key right here. There is the number right there at 43.39. Now, that is so important. That this is all my you know, what I think is going on, but hell, I don't know. And hell's not a bad word because everybody visits it sometime or another. All right, we got this here. Now look what else we got. We also have a nice A, B, C, D coming here right now. Folks, if we can start to get above here, if we can start to get above here, then the, the, the shorts are going to say, uh-oh, Something might be happening here that might be crazy. There's one other thing that's happened here just in the last uh, 10, 15 minutes. You'll see here we have a left shoulder. We have a head and we have a right shoulder. And I'm going to draw it through just so you'll be able to see it from your – there you are right here. You see the, there's, your, there's your left shoulder. There's your right shoulder. The right shoulder is slightly higher than the left shoulder, which Andrew Lowe said that was a good deal. The whole ball game is right here, folks, right there. That's the ball game. So we start getting above here. You do not want to be short if it gets above this 43, 42 level because that tells you this major bottom here with this little pattern whew, looks pretty good to me, and I don't know much. But anyway, let's pay attention to that. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Educating investors. 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've posted the chart of the Treasury bonds. It's all over the news that Treasury bonds are going lower. I don't know where those folks have been for the last two and a half years, but they've been going down for that long. Uh, you'll notice here we've, uh, we're starting to accelerate now to the downside. Remember, our target on this is 106. We're 114 right now. If we look at this closely, all I'm going to do now is to, we should have some really strong support coming in here really closely here down here there's at 114 and then there's one more that is down here that could be really interesting too uh down here at 113 and change uh actually exactly 113 so keep an eye on another point and a half lower here in bonds we might get a really good rally from that level the reason why i say that if you look at the daily okay you look at the daily you'll see that this is where we are right now. You see we're below the 1.618 of this whole move right now. <laughs> this is uh, this is really nasty, folks. I mean, stop and think here, look where we are. Uh, and this might be it. I might be able to hold this today, but it doesn't look like it. So far, the low has been 114.15. I don't think that's gonna hold, but somewhere around this ballpark right here, we should start finding a little bit of a downdraft. The reason why is we're down. Well, actually, we had these little tiny updates in here. This was a 382 right here, if you'll remember. Effect is, we'll just draw it in right now. And you'll see from the high to the low, you'll see there was your 382 right there. And then you had another 382 right here. Remember, this is a daily, so it took two days for these to form. And there was the other 382, almost made the 50%. And now we're, we've been heading down sharply for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven days. Eleven days is a outlier event, so anything past eight, of course, it can go anywhere, and that's exactly what it's doing. The last time we had a big run down was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days down. Now we're eleven days down, so we could easily, uh, no, not eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten days down, so we should be looking for a bottom in here. But folks, all you want to see on the bottom is you're going to get a little bit of a bounce like this. It could be as much as three points, but this market is uh, doesn't have any friends. And I'll post it one more time. This is where we're headed, folks, right there, down here around this level right here, about between 106. This 111 might stop it because that's a long-term weekly. 
uh, yeah, 112. That's only two points away. So I'd look at I'd look at this maybe at 112. But this is where we're going. 106. I mean that that's what it appears to be going to. I don't know if that's going to mean very much or not, but that's what it's looking like as we uh, look at these markets here today. Let's go here and take a look here now at the uh, Dow Jones uh, E Mini here. Uh, I, I guess I'll yeah here it is. Here's the Dow Jones E Mini. Let's get this up and then we'll we'll switch over to the gold. Uh, here is the four-hour chart on the Dow Jones E-mini. Remember, we said this will have a, a, a 33 handle. We've, we've now at 33.967 here uh, has been our low uh, today. And uh, let's just look at it. Uh, we're, this is a, a four-hour chart. So, you know, we, we've are, we haven't made the ABCD. That's all the way down to 33.5. That's another 300 points, uh, 400 points lower in the Dow. That means the S&P has got to fail big time. For that to happen, so the under the only other thing that we have to look at on this uh, Dow Jones, remember that's only uh, 30 stocks and it's only 15 of those because those are the ones that are the expensive ones. If we go from the low to the last high swing, you'll see that we're below that. So the only other, <laughs> this looks like where it wants to go, folks, right in here, but it hasn't changed much. And if we look at it here, we're going to go to an hourly. All I'm trying to do is see if there's anything here that would help us say, yes, maybe this could be a bottom. And I see something right now that could tell us that we could be at this bottom. And we're close. Now, this is uh, over the, uh, between yesterday and today. This is the whole action through right here. There's a few things we can take a look at. I'm going to do them one at a time here. First of all, we've got this big one right here. There's AB right there. There's CD right there. And there's stop, 3907. <laughs> the low today was 3905. So that ought to be it. For that one and then we also have this one right here there's your ABCD pattern right here and 3916 so that should have been the low going below here not good so uh, you know start breaking below here folks it's uh, gonna be really nasty so that's pretty much it I recommended everybody that uh, was listening to us about possible targets down there is if you're short today's the day you want to start covering because it hits your profit objective yeah it might go a lot lower but uh, you got to go with the trading gods. And as uh, what was his name, uh, Louis Pasteur said, uh, chance favors the prepared mind. And so you want to be prepared when your targets are ready. Be steady and just do what you're supposed to be doing. And that's what you want to be watching. OK, folks. So that's what we're watching in that one. Now, let's take a quick look since we're doing this between us here, folks. We'll just get up here. We'll take a look at the NASDAQ. Had several questions about this anyway. But we'll get it answered here. All right, we'll get the NASDAQ up so we can see it. Oh, look at the three drive in the NASDAQ. Son of a gun. Boy, we got a nice one right here. Yep, there's a three drive in the NASDAQ, too. There it is right there. That's a perfect three drive pattern. I, that's below the 1618, but that is below this up here. And that's over a five day period. We'll look at it two ways. We'll look at it on the. Um, four hour and then we'll look at it on the well four hours good enough yep this is a perfect three drive folks you'll see it right here drive one's right there drive two's right there and there's where we are right in here all we want to do is to validate to see if the ratios are correct a b c d hit it right on the money pretty much so it's holding its own it hasn't done anything that's it the key to this whole thing folks is that s and p that we looked at just a little while ago. I've got it here somewhere. <laughs> Can't find it now, not to worry about it. Um, let's get this out of the way and move these out of the way so I can get the gold up because we want to talk about the gold. We broke uh, We broke the 20 level. Today we got down as low as 18. Hold on, get that. Uh, you'll see here that there's our number down here is at 13. We'll get it, there's our uh, price objective coming in right here at thir uh, between 10 and 13. There was our 382 retracement right here. There's, there's you can see where we are. There's the uh, 382 retracement right here off of that move. And that means that this ABCD pattern is really close to being completed here in the goal. There's your AB leg right there. There's your CD leg coming in there at 13, 1913. We hit 1918 and we're moving down. Uh, as you can see, we are st still moving down. So that's what we're uh, paying attention to here today uh, in the gold market. So I hope I hope the ABC stuff doesn't drive you crazy because it's boring as heck. But, you know, boring can be fun. And that's why you got to like it. You know, that's basically the bottom line of 
what we're watching here as we see some of this stuff unfold. I uh, I like it. You know, doesn't always work, but by golly, I've been doing it a long time and it seems to work some of the time, and that's the whole key to it. You know what we should do here? Since we're on this gold market, we ought to blow this up a little bit and see if we can see see if we can see some of our old friends knowing as 382 here. Okay, so we have a breakdown here. Now we're going to see what the first rally is back. We go from the high down to the low. And, oh, it misses that one by a dollar. And then we break again. And we have it from this high here. This one worked because I can see it's closer to 50%. Oh, right on 382 right there. And here's where we're going. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, S&P's uh, start selling off again. It looks like it's getting ready to get down and hit that 43.16 level. But let's take a quick look at this gold market one more time. Okay, here's where we are. I think everybody can see this. There was our last 382 retracement. That leads to another pattern known as the AB equals CD. You know, folks, I just don't understand. And there's our price objective down here between 1915 and 1913. I'm going to be doing it around 1916. That's $4 from where we are right now. 
and I think that's where I'm, that's where I'm recommended anyway. So anybody that might still be sure, you see, we've got uh, okay. Uh, Stan's coming on. Stan's not do not Stan's not due until tomorrow. Hold on just a minute, boys and girls. I thought for sure he was coming on tomorrow. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, tomorrow is Stan. Okay. Yeah, Stan is tomorrow, tomorrow, manana, manana. Thank you, Al. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get back up here to take a look at this. Now, here's where we are in the gold. Uh, this is the 4-hour chart. This is going to give you the 13 level. You'll see there's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right here. And there's your number coming in there. It says it's at 1910. I don't know where I get 1913. I think, oh, this is it, the 1.618 level. But that's where I'd be, that's where I would be looking. Oh, the, I know where it is. Shut the front door, Larry. Raise the rent. It's right here. There's your A right here. A, B, C, D. Uh, that's 910. By golly, where did I come up with 913? Old age, I guess. Anyway, this is where it's going right here, folks, right around 910. I look, we're only $9 away, and we've already dropped 17 today, so, or between yesterday and today, so that's most probably, you know, where we're heading. I think that will be a good place to take a look at it from the long side. We move it over just a tiny bit here. Uh oh, man, man, there's, whoa, hold of horses, folks. Oh my goodness, this is major stuff. Wow. Well, man, I'll tell you, if this don't hold at this level, shut the front door and raise the rent because you'll be looking at something in gold that we've been saying for a long time and that it'll get below that 1900 level down there at around 1870-something, 1881. Wow. Well, 1881's not far. That's only $30 away, so we could easily make that. So I've, I'm still recommending to get out at uh, 19... Uh, 13, I think, was the number I said uh, on the video that we were looking at last night because we were watching it heading down towards that uh, towards that level right now. Now, I did have a question from Jeff in um, New Jersey, and I wanted to cover that right now. So let me get up here to the euro. Where is the euro? Euro, euro everywhere. Oh, shucks. Hold on here. This is might be it. Hold one second here. Uh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Hold on just a minute. Okay, Jeff is on the line. Jeff, are you there? Uh, yes. Hi, Larry. How are you? I'm uh, very good. Now, you had a question about uh, Lori and how she traded the euro, okay? Yeah, I had a few questions. Okay, why don't you fire Did away you with the first? Yeah, let's mm -hmm. just go ahead and tell me what your, uh, what your first question was, and I'll see if I can help answer it for you, and I'll clean all this out so we can start from scratch. So go right ahead. Okay, great. Thanks. <clears throat> so um, you had said that she was trading the ABCD. I just wanted to make sure that I understood, uh, you know, exactly what you meant by the ABCD. So the first question, my, my understanding of the ABCD is that you wait as a trader, you wait, don't enter any, you don't try to go for the D, like you don't put a trade on waiting for the D to get hit. You wait for the D to get hit. And the D's were the A, B equals C, D. So you wait for that. And then when you uh, when it hits the D point, you you fade it by placing an order uh, with a target that is uh, uh, 0.618 of the A to D range. Is that yes, that's, what she that's did? correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then as far as the stop, did she place the stop in order to get a 3 to 1 risk-reward ratio? Uh, she used a she used a standard stop of thirty pips, which was three hundred dollars. She just used a okay, standard so stop because she was looking at euro. she was looking at fifteen minute charts and uh, sometimes five minute charts to find one. First thing she did, Jeff, is she found out whether the market was. Let's just look at this here. This is uh, this is where we are here. Look at you can see the euro has been going down for uh, quite a while, right? Right. You can see it's in a, been in a downtrend. I posted it here. So first thing she would do would be look f when she got up in the morning. First thing she'd be looking for would be an A B C D in the counter trend. In other words, it'd be a be a lower high. So you can see there's a lower high right here. Now we weren't doing three eight twos at that time, but she would have drawn a line from your low to your high, and she would have seen that there's an A B C D here. So she would be looking to be a seller right there. Okay, and risking 30 pips, and her profit objective would be 30 pips, and that would have been hit uh, down in here somewhere. 
Okay, so her profit objective was also 30 pips. A profit objective was always 30 pips. That's what she would be that's what she would be looking for. But she was always looking okay. for the trend and then, you know, she she would uh, if the market was really volatile like way up and way down on that day, she might not trade that day. She wanted to trade in the direction of the trend. She would always try you can just look at this euro it's been going down for a long time, right? But see during this time right here, see the euro had been going up, so she'd be looking for ABCDs to be a buyer. See, that's what she there's one right here. See the A B, C, D, she would be by. Here's another one. A, B, C, D. Okay, then it goes up here, but then there's nothing through here. Well, there's a little tiny one, but that would be too small for her probably. And then some of them she would just flat out miss. But once the trend started up, she would look for A, B, C, Ds to, to the, just like this one. A, B, C, D right here. A, B, C, D right here. Those are, and that, that's there's one almost every day. So that's what she was looking for. Okay, and I guess 30 pips is the harmonic for the euro? At that, yeah, it still is. Yeah, it's still pretty close. It, it does pretty good. For, okay. It's a low risk trade. And, you know, she, unless she, everything had to be set up the way she liked it, and, and she knew to be, a, be a, you know, be afraid of those really wide ranging bars if you have one of those. So that's what, uh, that's what she was doing, you know? Okay. Making, and um, uh, did I understand she also traded corn? She did trade corn. I, I don't know how many years she traded corn, but she did trade corn, and she looked for the same thing in corn that she looked at in the euro. And what was the so, harmonic for corn? Uh, at that time, it's still the same. It was $0.08. Cents. $0.08, cents, okay. And so she would risk $0.08 and, cents um, to make $0.08. Cents. Right, risk $0.08 cents and make $0.08. Cents. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Okay. And um, is there any other... Uh, traits in her trading that made her better than your average student? No. Or is ABCD? No. She kept it as simple as possible, and that's what she did, yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Well, those are all the details. That's what I was looking for. Uh, I okay. appreciate that very much. Thanks for sharing it's that. It's my story pleasure to call in any time. Be happy to help you if I can, okay? Okay. Thank you. Take okay. Care. Thank you. Right, okay, folks, since we've been uh, talking to Jeff, we're making new lows now. You can see here in the uh, Dow Jones, we're breaking down, making new lows. Not a good sign. We're also hitting our number here uh, in the E-mini S&P. Let's see if the cash is making new lows. Yep, the cash is not making new lows yet, but it's a little bit behind. Hold, Let me get the S&P here. We'll be right back. Hold on just a second. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks. Uh the, uh, we're really close to that 43.16 here. We're going to go through looking at the cash here for just a second. But I have to. Someone asked a question during the break. Did, did I ever consider playing poker professionally? And it took me five minutes to stop laughing. No, folks. I mean, I'm just a, I'm, I'm, I'm a tiny bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit above average. I play low limit. I make a little bit of money, not very much. I lose some, win some, but I make a tiny bit. I keep records, and I mean, it's a nice hobby, but. Yeah, I've had some big wins. I haven't had any big losses, but overall, you know, I make a few bucks. I mean, really nothing. I could never play professionally. The reason why I know that, I played in the World Series a couple times by winning a satellite. You know, you put up 50 bucks and you get to play in a $10,000 tournament and stuff. And each time I played, I played against a couple of professionals. And uh, t I was playing against T.J. Cloutier uh, from Texas, who's now retired. Uh, he was a great poker player, but a terrible craps player, and he lost all his money shooting craps, and so he's retired now. He's about a year older than me, but we I sat with him on one particular uh, table during one of the tournaments, and we became friends, and he was, he was sitting right next to me, and he knew exactly the cards that I had. I mean, he was telling me, you know, when I would fold, he said, oh, you had a King Jack suited, huh? And, I, and I'd say, how do you know that? And he would smile. But he just he could tell by by the betting, uh, it's called a tell that we do, you work a certain way and that's pretty much it. We just hit 41675 here uh, in the S and P. That was our target. Remember looking at this on the daily. I believe that was that. Now the trouble is it's this doggone stupid thing from the. I, I've got to change this, folks. So bear with me here, just a second here. I got to come up here and change this to the. December contract otherwise you don't get to see the same thing that you really need to be looking at and here's where we are we're down here almost right now where we are and if we put up the ABCD and this is a December contract from the when it was started trading a long long time ago there it is on the daily and there's our number right here four three one six that's the number that's the ABCD today's the day that it and I put here below 4300 is not good I mean, really super, like no good. I mean, not good. But remember, we counted those days, the days down. That's A, B equals C, D. Folks, if this were upside down at the top, I'd jump all over it like a man trying to find a cheap suit. That's what I'd tell you if we'd be looking at. So now that we're here, we're, we're hitting the number right here. Here's what I usually do. I'm going to go back to the cash market. Where are you, cash market? I put you here. Here's where we are right now, and we should be getting ready to make a new low in cash. Let's just get this up here. This is the daily, okay? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the daily. Now this is delayed a little bit, okay? 15 minutes, but it's gonna be close. Here's, let's just get the 15 minute chart up. There's where we are right now. Okay, there was the low right here before. So I'm looking for it. This is the number. We're right down in this area of the number. We could easily, uh, remember looking at this on a 15 minute chart, we could easily go you know, a little bit lower down in here to make the low, but I really think we're close to a bottom in here, folks. There's the low right now. Now we haven't taken it out, but the trouble is this is 15 minutes delayed 
and we could we could be making it easy. But watch this number. It's a, it's a really powerful. Well, what am I talking about, Hell, I, I don't know if it's a powerful number or not. May or may not be. I really don't know the answer to that. So anyway, let's just uh, let's keep that in mind as we uh, start to to look at some of this stuff. Okay. Uh, also, regarding the uh, when uh, Lori was. Uh, uh, trading, I'll bring up the corn here. I'll show you the same thing that she would look for in corn. This is like a 30-minute chart here in corn. And she would do the same thing in corn that she would do. She would, looking at chart like this today, she would be looking and say, I can see very clearly there's an A, B, C, D pattern right there. And so she would be looking to be a buyer of corn when it got down to this level right here, okay? And that's what she would be looking for. And then she would wait for the next pattern that she would find through here to see if there's another one in here. There's another little A, B, C, D right here. That's what she would be watching for in the corn market. And corn trades very easily. This is uh, 67 to, uh, it's a $1,500 or a $700 move up to that level. So it's, uh, and it's doing the same thing. Here's one, that, here's one that she would have been doing today for absolute certainty. And that's this one right here. There's your A, B leg right here. There's your C, D leg coming in here. She would have been buyer of corn uh, right in here with her stop down in here somewhere risking uh, eight cents so she would buying at 78 it's 79 now so she's still in it her stop would probably be right below here she'd be risking about 30 so you know three or four cents so that's that's what she basically did and uh, she was pretty good at it and uh, a simple ABCDs that's all she was looking at she did 30 and 15 minute charts and those are the ones that uh, got her to the promised land if you look at this on a on a 15-minute basis, you can see pretty much the same patterns that we were looking at before. There's a couple here you can see easier. If you're, if you're doing 15 minutes, which is okay, but remember, if you're doing 15 minutes, you've got to look at some of these other patterns that are here. Because if you look at this, you can see the ABCD pattern right here. There's your AB leg right here. Okay, There's your CD leg coming in. That's this one right here. So that means you've got another ABCD here from ABCD, and that takes you down to... This level right in here. So that's what it was looking for. Then you got another A, B, C, D. If you remember any of the, of the videos that I do when I do the day trading thing, I always talk about the work that Mandelbrot did with A, B, C, D, folks, because everything that happens is A, B, C, D. If you were to take this, we're going to do it right now. We're going to go down to a tick chart, and I'll show you what I mean. Where is the tick? Where's the T at? They always have the T in here. Oh, maybe I'll have to use a one minute. Oh, why don't they have a tick chart up here? They always used to have a tick chart. Shut the front door. Here's a one minute. And now you can see small ABCDs all the way through here. See these little tiny? That's all the market's ever doing is ABCD. The whole thing. It's all these little tiny ABCDs. And all you're looking at them is a little bit uh, perspective of the ones you're paying close. Let's, hey, here's one. If you remember yesterday, folks, how much I love this stuff right here. Uh, this was the day. Let's get this daily up because this didn't work. You lost 180. We were trying to buy it right here at 40. I said you risk uh, 30 points, which was $180, and it broke really badly. You'll see here, get the uh, five, four minute up. You see, had a huge break to the downside. You see, this is where you had been buying it. Uh, well, you, you had been stopped out right here because, see, there was the 40 that we were trying to buy it at, was right here. Rallied up, and then, of course, we had our stop right there. Got stopped out, then it went up here, then all the way down, and then look where it's at now. It went all the way back up. So that's a that's a $600 move here uh, on the way up. But by golly, certainly wasn't involved at that. That was a losing trade, and it just moved on uh, from that one. Okay, now get back here to the euro one more time here and see where we are because uh, we're going to get a bottom in the euro here somewhere, but I'm not sure it's going to be in my lifetime. Here's where we are on the uh, small, smaller time frame. And let's just move to see where we are here. One of our favorite things to do is to watch for 382s. So we had a high here. You put this in right here. Hmm. Got lucky. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if that one worked. Okay. You see what I mean, folks? These little things pop up. You have to pay attention to them. And that tells us that the euro is heading down even farther. And that farther is going to be, as they say in the trade, Hold the placard up, Johnny. A, B equals C, D, as Mark would say. And tomorrow would have been Mark's birthday. He would have been 75. Son of a gun. Sure missed the dude. Ah, uh, sure missed the dude. All right, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I noticed that the S&P hit uh, the low was uh, 43.15.25. The uh, cash S&P did not make a new low on this rundown. I just double-checked because the time had run out, so we've seen that correctly. And so that's uh, the main thing to uh, pay close attention to here. Uh, I think it's important. Anyway, we'll, we'll do one thing at a time here. Okay, I think that's pretty much going to be it for today. Tomorrow, I guess, will be... Uh, by the way, I'm recommended, you know, if you've been following me on this stuff, I think now's the time you discover your short. You know, if you got uh, the real kahunis, you go in and buy it and risk 10 points, you know, and I'm, my hand's not up in the air, so I'm just going to be, I'm done for the day. When I do this one, it's fun. I'm going to wait and see what happens to some of this other stuff that's going on in the world. And anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, let's see, today is Tuesday. Tomorrow we're going to have Stan Harley as our guest. Uh, we're hoping to have Joe DiNapoli, but I still haven't been able to, to reach him. If not, we'll have some other stuff. we got a lot of things going on in here. So I hope that was helpful today. Uh, try to do something uh, nice for your neighbors. It's always good to pass along some of your good things. And also remember, you don't want to forget Richard Rube's birthday. Look up at the sky and say, thank you for bringing this guy around because he helped a lot of traders over the years. I'm talking 35 years or so. And uh, he's a real stand-up guy. He and his wife, uh, Denise, are living the dream over there in Las Vegas, Nevada. So that's it, boys and girls. I think that old clock on the wall is telling me that we're almost done here. 
uh, for the day. Oh, I've got a few seconds left here, so uh, well, it's too late for any questions, but uh, that's pretty much it. Just remember, folks, if we close below 4,300 in that S&P cash today, uh, that means we're going to go a whole lot lower, you know, to the downside. That's that's what it looks like to me. Uh, the fact that it hit 4,316, that was probably the two people that follow me that uh, might have put their buy orders in there, but who knows. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. May God bless.